Ahoy uh, there, YouTubers, and welcome to my Let's Play of Gothic 1. It's finally here! Huzzah! Alright, let's start right into it. Gothic 1 is, of course, the predecessor to Gothic 2 and 3 and is also created by the ingenious Piranha Bytes. Seriously, I so love these guys at the moment. They're creating so great games that you will, of course, all see on my channel at Let's Plays. So, um, yeah, what can I tell you about Gothic 1? It is my, personally, my second favorite game of all times, right after the second Gothic part. Why that is? It's a difficult story and I will probably tell you during the Let's Play, alright? So, um, yeah, first of all, Gothic 1 is the first part of the Gothic series, so I personally think that there's no real explaining to be done regarding the story because everything's set in the introduction cutscene that you will see in about half a minute. But what I need to point out is that this Let's Play of mine will still be a mild Let's Roleplay, as all my Let's Plays are, basically. So the character and his actions will be influenced by the certain character who actually reappears in my Gothic 2 LP. And um, these two characters, of course, share similar character features, but the one from Gothic 1 is, of course, younger and slightly less experienced than the one from Gothic 2. So keep that in mind while watching my Let's Play. Uh, lastly, I have to tell you that the word bingo that I announced in the update video number two just one week ago, I think, is, um, well, starting now, actually, as soon as the cutscene will start. For those of you who have no idea what I'm currently talking about, please check out my update video number two for the rules of the word bingo and how to, you know, get into the game at a later point of this Let's Play. Alright, and with that said, let's start this LP. The Kingdom of Murtana, united by King Robar II. During the long years of his reign, he was able to defeat all foes of his realm. All except one. the orcs took its toll, and the prisoners of the realm were to pay the price. The king needed swords for his army, and every man guilty of a crime, no matter how insignificant, was forced to work in the ore mines of Corinus. To make it impossible for them to escape, the king sent out the best magicians of the kingdom to create a magic barrier around the entire valley. I was one of them. Uh, something disturbed the delicate structure of magic. We were trapped inside our own barrier. One second of negligence was enough for the prisoners. Corinus was now under the control of the convicts. The king had no choice. He had to negotiate. He needed the ore. Month after month, the king supplied everything the prisoners needed. Month after month, they brought the ore to the edge of the barrier in exchange. Until the present day, another convict was brought to the cliff. He did not know, but he would change everything. In the name of King Robar II, bearer of the scepter of Verant, I sentence this convict to... Stop! Convict, I've got an offer to make you. This letter must reach the leader of the Magicians of Fire. You're wasting your time. You may choose your own reward. They'll give you anything you ask for. Very well. I'll take your letter. 
on one condition. Spare me the rest of his nonsense. How dare you? Keep silent. Right. Send him in. Welcome to the colony. That's enough. Leave him alone. And now, scram. Get up. I'm Diego. I'm... I'm not interested in who you are. You've just arrived. I look after the new arrivals. That's all for now. If you plan to stay alive for a while, you should talk to me. But of course, I won't keep you from choosing your own destruction. Well, what do you think? Okay, what do I need to know about this place? We call it the Colony. You'll know already that we produce ore for the King. Well, at least we do, in the old camp. There are three camps within the barrier. The old camp is the biggest, and it was the first. How do I get to the old camp? You just follow this path. The old camp is the next reasonably safe looking place you'll come across. There are a lot of wild beasts between the camps. You'd be mad to walk around without a weapon. Where do I get a weapon? When you get to the old mine, have a look around. I'm sure you'll find something useful. The mine is easy to find. It's just a few meters along the canyon. Why did you help me? Because you needed help. Otherwise, Bullet and his boys might have killed you. And I couldn't just stand by and watch, because I came all this way to make a suggestion. A suggestion? Yes. After this little incident with Bullet and his guys, you should be aware now that you need protection. Everyone who arrives here has a choice. There are three camps in the colony, and you'll have to join one of them. I'm here to show the new ones that the old camp is the best place for them. I have a letter for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. Really? I was given it by a mage shortly before they threw me in here. You're lucky I can't afford to show my face around the mages anymore. Anyone else would gladly slit your throat for that letter. That's because the mages pay their couriers a lot. And most people here don't have anything. If I were you, I'd shut up until I met one of the mages. Although in your situation, that's not likely to happen. Why not? The mages are in the castle in the old camp. Only Gomez's people are allowed to enter the castle. Who's Gomez? Gomez is the most powerful ore baron. He's the boss of the old camp, the most powerful man in the colony. Let's assume I want to join his people. What do I need to do? At the gate of the castle, you'll find a man called Thoris. Tell him Diego sent you. Where's Bullet now? He and the others bring the goods from the outside world into the camp. You'll find him there. But if you plan to fight him, be careful. He's an experienced warrior. Thanks for your help. We'll meet in the old camp. Alright, this was Diego. Those of you who uh, watched my Gothic 2 LP of course know him because he's one of our big friends in Gothic 2. But we don't know that just yet. He is certainly friendly, yes he is. Um, he saved us from this bully who's actually called Bullet. So, um, yeah, how about that? Uh, and we are thrown into this giant prison. Let's have a look around. You can actually... Oh, you can't actually see it from here. Uh, I noticed that you could see it during our conversation, but now it's gone. Well, there is a giant barrier um, enclosing the whole valley of mines, basically. So we are trapped inside this barrier, and we can't get out. And... To show you what I mean, we will actually go this way and also pick up some stuff. Uh, now, I have to get used to the Gothic 1 controls because they are slightly different. Because while in Gothic 2, 
I could just press control to pick things up and interact with things. But now I need to press both control and the up key. So, um, yeah, that's a bit... Oh, there you go. I'm too close to the barrier, so I'm starting to glow. And if I am standing within this blue glow for too long, I will die. Because only, um, I think there are many theories about the barrier in this game. And so far, what I believe is that only lifeless materials can, um, you know, get through the barrier from the inside. While also uh, human beings and so on can get inside from the outside because that's the way we came in but yeah we can't get out um just like that so yeah being too close again and here is an ore nugget actually let's try to pick that up yeah like this and a bear over here that's that's something i like all right great so let's get away from this deadly barrier and instead have a look around uh, what other options we might have? Of course, there's this way that uh, Diego went. Let's adjust the camera just a bit. All right, before we go there, I will have a look at my inventory, which is also quite different from um, Gothic 2. As you can see, it's all sorted into certain categories. For example, weapons in this case. And I'm not sure how to... Oh, yeah, uh, this way. Alright, then we have... I actually can't see it because my frames counter is right on top of it. But I think it's armor, uh, magic, uh, artifacts, and... Okay, I, I really can't can't read that. Food! It might be food, actually. Uh, potions, writings... Uh, mi mis I'll just call it misc because I have no idea how to pronounce that word. And that's it. That's it. I don't really have many items so far. Let's actually scroll out just a bit, so that we have a better overview. And as you can see, I'm playing this game in a 16 to 9 resolution, uh, which is the highest setting that I could find in this game, uh, which I really like it. Um, what I don't like is that the writing, uh, for example, dialogues and so on, is really, really small. And um, yeah, if you guys can't read it, then please tell me and I will change it. Alright, uh, how to climb ladders? This way. Alright. Let's climb up here because there are human beings up here. Hello. What's your name, Ori? What are you doing here? Making sure no one gets near the exchange place. Especially one of those cutthroats from the new camp. You're the new guy they chucked in today, right? That's me. Then you'd better watch out for the guys from the new camp. I work for the old camp, same as the others you saw at the exchange place. I assume you've talked to Diego. Wow, he is a really lousy voice actor. But then again, we already know that from Gothic 2, so... Yes, I have. Good. Then you know what's what around here. Alright, we can ask him some questions, and since he has a name, that is advisable. Why do I have to watch out for the guys from the new camp? Compared to the new camp, the old camp's a quiet, peaceful sort of place. The new camp doesn't get any deliveries from the outside world. Most of the rogues there just steal whatever they need. And the old camp? The ore barons have everything under control. Next in line to them are the guards, followed by the shadows. The diggers are the lowest. Everyone who arrives here starts out as a digger. If you want to become something better than that, you'll have to get accepted as a shadow first. All right. Let's not mention that. We, we don't want to appear weak 